Hello and welcome to MVP Sport News, bringing you this week's Sporting Roundup. Over in the NBA and it's playoff times, the Cleveland Cavaliers currently lead 2-1 to the Toronto Raptors. This victory from the Raptors surprised many as up until then they were 2-0 down. The Toronto Raptors had counted on the home crowd to give them a boost. Bismack Biembo made absolutely sure they did. The Congolese big man grabbed 26 rebounds. On the other side of the NBA in the West, it's all square as the Golden State Warriors and the Oklahoma City Thunder are currently one all. Over to the NFL now, and what is going on with the Eagles? Oh, Eagles. The whole Sam Bradford situation. Bradford requested a trade after the Phillies traded up their draft pick to get quarterback Carson Wentz from North Dakota State to a four-year $26.67 million deal. Also in the NFL, Tom Brady is lawyering up for his case over his deflate gate scandal that would give him a four-game suspension. Also in Patriots news, Rob Gronkowski has been announced as the cover athlete of Madden 17. There were lots of speculation over who was going to be on the front cover. This news was dropped by EA Sports on the 12th of May. Gronkowski becomes the first Patriot athlete to star on the cover. It's always difficult growing up with an older brother. It's even harder when that brother is a 6 foot 5, 289 pound, 3 times defensive player of the year. I'm of course talking about JJ and Derek Watt. Derek Watt is 4 years younger than his older brother JJ. Unlike JJ who is a star defensive player, Derek plays on the offensive line as a fullback. He was drafted this year as the 198th pick overall, being the second highest fullback in the draft. However, Derek is confident he's better at one thing than his older brother, catching. He said, I've got the better hands, he's got the big hands and he can do some things. He's obviously played some tight ends and had these opportunities, but hopefully I can show I have some hands as well. This might not be the last of the Watt family you'll see in the NFL, as the youngest of the brothers, TJ, will be a sophomore tight end at Wisconsin next season. Ezekiel Elliott's famous crop top will not be allowed in the NFL as it violates the league rules. The running back from the Ohio State Buckeyes was recently drafted to the Dallas Cowboys. The rule states, Jerseys must cover all pads and other protective equipment worn on the torso and upper arms and must be appropriately tailored to remain tucked into the uniform pants throughout the game. On the other side of the world, Manchester United become FA Cup champions beating Crystal Palace 2-1 to claim their championship with help from a late goal from Lindegaard in the game. This is a record equaling 12th FA Cup Championship for the club, tying Arsenal's record. In tennis news, despite the fact that clay was the surface that made Andy Murray hate tennis, the Scott heads into the French Open knowing it might just offer his best hopes of a third Grand Slam title. Murray is the only player to have beaten Novak Djokovic and Rafa Nadal in the build-up to the tournament and goes in on an unbeaten streak of five matches after winning the title in Rome. In the MLB, the New York Yankees plan to activate designated hitter Alex Rodriguez from the disabled list Tuesday when the team brings a three-game homestand against Toronto. There had been speculation that Rodriguez, out since May 4th with a strained right hamstring, might be activated Saturday. The manager, Joe Girardi, decided against that after the three-time All-MVP went through a full day of rehab. A small leak in a pipe near one goal post at Amelie Arena disrupted the morning skate for the host Tampa Bay Lightning and the Pittsburgh Penguins on Friday, but league officials insisted the issue would be resolved quickly. The teams meet in Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals on Friday night. The Penguins lead the best of seven series 2-1. to one. League and arena officials blocked off one portion of the Amelie Arena ice surface prior to the Lightning taking the ice for the morning skate. The Penguins were scheduled to have an optional skate later in the morning and would likewise only have access to the three quarters of the ice surface because of the issue. Conor McGregor didn't know that posting a tweet about retiring young on April 19th would have the impact it did. He didn't put a ton of thought into it, says he wasn't mad when he wrote it. It wasn't planned out. He simply wasn't seeing eye to eye with the UFC regarding an upcoming three city press tour and decided to take the conversation a little more public. The post generated 170,000 retweets and quickly prompted the UFC to pull McGregor from a scheduled rematch with Nate Diaz at UFC 200 on July 9th. Had McGregor backtracked then and immediately booked a flight to Las Vegas to participate in a news conference, perhaps UFC 200 might have been salvaged. McGregor said that there were moments when he considered that Diaz rematch, after all, something he badly wants, but ultimately he stood firm on the matter. And that's the news. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next week.